Nick Treader back here and uh, if you uh, watch the unboxing videos for the Minkota Talon 12 foot um, mine is red um, and also the unboxing for the Universal Minkota Talon mount kit and the tilt bracket I'm um, going to get into the install and I'm going to do it unscripted and I'm going to bring the camera down into uh, the jack plate view I have a manual jack plate 6 inch um, so we're going to take a look at that, see what it looks like in there, and then uh, you know proceed with the install of the bracket. So let's get started here. I'm going to take us into the down into the the view of our jack plate. So I've got three bolts here. Um, top one is in a free floating hole, and the other two on the bottom are actually um, into a threaded plate behind there and I'll try to get a view of it from I guess from this side here looking at the other way I think we can get in there it's kind of tough to see in there but if you look back down inside there there's a hole so it's threaded that plate back there is threaded so on this side those bottom two are into that so we're gonna have to take a look at that and see if the bolts that came with it will go through um, both the talon bracket and through the jack plate into those threads and if it doesn't then I'll have to make a hardware run so uh, you know we'll get to it and I'll unbolt these before I unbolt these I'm actually gonna take the motor and I'm going to lower it all the way down and then I'm going to, or I should say trim it all the way down, and then I'm going to raise the front jack so that the bottom of this skag is going to touch the ground, which will have some weight support when I unbolt these three. I don't need all three bolts on the other side holding it up. Well, and the one reason I worry about that is if I take this out and you have that back plate where it was threaded that we just looked at, will the bolt be able to line up with that hole perfectly and I don't have a, a engine mount uh, I guess whatever you call those uh, motor hangers um, so I'm gonna just support it right away here the other side is obviously bolted tight and then hopefully that'll allow these holes to line up when I get back to putting bolts back through so I'm gonna go do that now um, so I went and grabbed a piece of wood and I uh, didn't record it so it wouldn't take so long but I'm actually going to put a piece of wood between the bottom of the skag and the cement so it doesn't uh, do any damage to it now I'm going to go raise the trailer support uh, in the front so the back lowers and sits on the board. Alright, I'm going to proceed with taking the bolts out, and I'll be removing all three of these, and that will allow the first piece to be mounted right here. So, let's get on that. Alright, as you can see, I've got them all loosened up and I'm going to take out the middle one and the bottom one well, I'll just do the middle one to see if the bolts that come with it will thread into that receiver sure you don't lose the spacer but uh, here's the bolt that was in there it's about two and a half this looks 
seems to be the same thread. We'll see. Looks like it. So that means that we'll be able to remove the bottom one, which also threads in to the base plate. And then this one's just a bolt with a nut. So I'll finish taking these two out, and then we'll uh, mount the plate. Alright, that wasn't as bad as I thought. The actual threaded spacer plate back here I could move enough to get that lined up again. But uh, just to be safe on the front outer and the inner part, it is also a little bit sagging that way. So I'm going to go with the bolt right now in here. So Need a washer, two washers, bolt, and nut. Probably don't need the nut or the other washer if we're going straight into that back plate. started. Just trying to put the spacer back in. The second bolt. Tighten those down and then we'll be right back at it. Alright, so did run into some problems here trying to get those tightened. The inner thread uh, bolt um, at the angle that it was stuck in appeared to strip the thread, so now it just goes through. So I will be using the bolts on the back end. The other issue is the reason it did that is because there is just enough leverage to where these bolt holes aren't lined up perfect. I'll take a look on the bottom here. See that top there? It's off just a hair. So, you know, using the jack in the front of the trailer is so I have the motor uh, tilted up a bit so it has an angle and I just got one of my floor jacks here and I'm going to put it under the skag and jack it up until I see that bolt hole um, become level. So here we go. Lessons learned. Make it easier for the second one.
pretty close. View here. So basically, now we're looking at our holes aligning. That one's back to pretty close to normal. I should be able to get the bolt through that. So now I'm going to insert these bolts in and tighten her down. Top one's just a hair off, so I gotta bring this down just a bit. open this up all right as you can see we got them tightened up that jack really helped out got those holes realigned so now it looks like that have that mounted right to the side of the plate now we can step back and work on the next piece So we'll grab the second piece. Arm. And then we'll uh try to get on here. Probably gonna line this up parallel with the transom. So you wanna find the teeth areas. We can look at that too. Just so you can see, if you look down on this, the teeth are going to line up somewhere on here. So you want to line up those teeth so you get, I think right now we're 
not quite parallel with the boat so I'm going to bring that in just a bit those are a perfect machine fit all right that looks pretty close so I'm going to slide that down there in here, bolts and washers, two washers and a bolt. Tighten these up. Got the first one tight. Second one is coming. Come okay. Get the vice grips off. It's a good second hand. If you need someone to hold it, just put that on the back side and let the leverage hold it. Alright, so now we're in a glass piece. Got right down there. We're gonna put on the bracket that the uh, tilt bracket will mount to. That'll go on here, just like this. these bolts
Okay. Rock solid mount. All right. Now we'll go get the tilt bracket. All right. So we tightened up the last piece here. Got it as parallel as possible to the back of the boat. It's pretty sturdy mounted here. Got these all tight. And now we're going to look at installing the bracket and a uh, talon bracket that slides onto the talon. So this will go right onto this plate like that. And then it'll be able to release and you just drop your talon right into those quick slots here. So let's start with the release bracket. Open this up for that and you push the lever. And you want to have the lever facing towards the boat, just like that. and washers and bolts for these. Lock washer and washer on first. have some anti-seize you want to put that on prevent problems in the future next set here. Alright, so I got all four bolts in and three tightened. Got to get up under here with the wrench and do the last one. There we go. Okay, now we put uh, the other bracket on this plate. Same thing with the same bolts. Same lock washer, washer. There's actually two thicknesses. You take the skinny washer. You got the, there's two there. You got thicker and thinner. The thinner one goes with the lock washer and the thicker one goes on the back where the bolt goes, or I'm sorry, where the nut goes. Slide those in. Turn back. Washer. Get some anti-seize compound. Started here. Right. 
I'll work on getting these tightened in the next two in. All right, <clears throat> got the all bolts in. Got to tighten up this last one here, and then. I need to set up the, the vertical adjustment plate here so it's somewhat up and down after this is clipped in. Then we can slide our talon on there. So then this clips right there. Now we want to take this right here and we want to find out what's the uh, level. So you need to get a socket for that. So we'll take the bottom ones out, let the top ones stay. Because the top hole is stationary. And then uh, these other holes here is what? You adjust this with so top one will hang there like a pendulum and then we'll move it down to probably you know some little area all right so we took both bolts out <clears throat> I have the boat pretty much level um, I looked at my transducer and made sure that was parallel with the floor. Um, the boat has a slight upward incline just because <clears throat> the, you know the way the motor and all the weight in the back sags your boat down. Transducers level that was already level so I made that parallel to the floor and then I unbolted these bottom ones and if you just let it hang free it'll come down pretty much exactly where you want to be perpendicular to the floor. So I put it in the closest hole to that which is the second one here and then you'll be uh, perpendicular to the floor and now we just washer, lock washer hold this back on Alright, get the talon and we'll slide it on. Alright, so I got the talon. I'm going to slide it right on the brackets here. Like that. And we should have a stop bolt. Which will prevent it from Sliding down too far. Looks like these bottom bolts are just a little loose here. Alright. There we go. And then we gotta figure out where it's going, but we'll do that in a second here. And this bolt here will move down, which will catch it. Got to work on height adjustment and power. All right, so I took a board and I ran it along the bottom of the boat, past the transom, and it came to about the bottom of the talon. 
and you want to have this talent about three inches up you know from that level so I need to move this up about three and a half you just do that by sliding it up and then uh, moving your stop bolt so I'll push this up bolt is about three inches up and I bring it down Down. Now we have about where we want this. We want to test that out on the water. Now I'm going to tighten these bolts down, and then we'll uh, run the wires. All right, so I got the bolts tightened up. <clears throat> got one, two, and then this is the stop bolt. When you slide it down, it'll stop at that. And then uh, the other two here. So now we're going to work on power. And looks like the one way into my rig is through that tube there in that inlet. And I'll just have to cut some, you know, cut these off here. See if I can run this. Just got to go right through here, and then my battery is actually right underneath here inside. So we'll come in right through in here, hook up into here, and then we'll test it out. All right, so I got the wire running from the talon down underneath there got to attach that down by the bracket and then I'll bring it around in these lines and then I go through here I could not get this fuse box through there so I ended up snipping the line which I'm gonna have to do anyway because I plan on ordering the quick disconnect power cable um, or power adapter I didn't get that yet so anyway I snipped the line stripped it here and I'm gonna wire nut that back to the end that I did get through which is sticking up right here and then uh, we'll connect it up alright so we have the talon mounted on the bracket we have the cord run I got some cable ties there up to the cables and then into the boat right there it's all hooked up um, found a couple of these T plastic things to put the wire in the you run it right inside here in the groove and then those you put on there to hold it in and then out next I'm going to put on the kickstand which requires me to take the top off so I'm going to use, the, use this here and bring it down gently push that button there start bringing it back Okay, I'm going to go up to the top and it looks like we need to remove a couple screws in here. So I'll take these off and then we'll slide that on. Alright, so that's what it looks like with the top off. So I've got the four screws and the top just comes off. Your kickstand is going to go on the port side, which is your left side if you're facing the front. Um, so I put on the whole kickstand holder first. There's a square bolt, looks like this, on the other side, slides into that groove right here. And then there's a washer under that, so if I push on this, it's retractable. If I push on it, you see the washer. So you want the washer on the outside of the talon, and you want the square nut in that groove, and it'll allow you to tighten it down. So I'll slide that in there now. Alright, so I slid it down the groove. I actually turned it so if you pull on this and turn it can fold up and it goes into its holder but I'm gonna un, you know bring this down here so I can tighten it I'll tighten that down probably as close as I can to that I'm still not touching the boat here so I'll have to adjust the height of this also so I'll tighten that up quick. 
All right, kickstand's on, cover, four, those four screws are back in. Kickstand, I adjusted the height. Now we're touching the floor when I tilt it. And then we have room between the unit and the boat. So I'll push this back up. And then to put this down, you just pull out and turn it like that. And then locked in. Next step, I'm going to try powering it on. So we're going to hit the down button. Oh, you can see it just going on. And hear it click again. Okay, so now we're deployed. Only two feet down. If I want to bring it back up, I can hit the up button here. And there it was. So we have a working anchor. Everything's installed. Next step is to install one of the remotes or sync them both up. Let me open these up quick. And up and down. Sync this. You hold down the up button on the talon. I'm going to do that right now. So hold this up. And then hit up. Try it one more time. Hold this up and then hit the button at the same time. Here we go. And there you heard the beep. So now, if we hit down. Double down. And now we're in. There was his first strike, second strike, and that's it. We have one remote synced up. Hit up. And there it is. All right, and that's it. Uh, have another video on the first use out on the water. Thanks for watching.